Hey y'all, today I wanted to talk to you about choosing the right curriculum. How to choose the best curriculum. How to choose the perfect curriculum. Do you wanna know my secrets on how to choose the best curriculum? I do have a secret. It's the one that you use. I know, I know, I know. That's not the answer you were hoping for. I know that y'all were all listening intently like, yes, yes, which one is it? We'll go buy it. And they all are. I have really never come across a bad curriculum. Like notebook says two plus two is five. I mean, there might be some errors um, occasionally, but I've never come across a truly bad curriculum. I have come across and used curriculums that weren't a right fit for us. And how do you know if it's a right fit for you? You use it. Over the years, we have used numerous different curriculums starting at K-4 level, and I used a precious curriculum called My Father's Worlds. It's a Christian-based curriculum. It was really fun and hands-on and lots of activities and really good stuff for that age. And so I had the teacher's manual and we went through side by side with my son. I was new to homeschooling and it was all so much fun. We did activities, we read together, we went outside and did nature studies and played together. It was a great curriculum because it was the one that I was using. There are other great curriculums out there that would have worked just as well, but that was the one that I chose and that was the one that we went with and that was the one that we used. And so that was the best one. And as I learned more about learning styles and other curriculums that were available and I attended conventions for homeschooling back in the day when we could do those kind of things, I learned a lot. I learned hands-on approach is great for some kids and some kids love, love, love and thrive on worksheets or just reading and reading and reading. And so I looked at my children and said, okay, what do they like the best? Let's try out some different things and see what they like the best. We went through a number of different curriculums. We chose Singapore math at the very beginning of our homeschool journey. And my son did really, really well. His math brain is just wired to do mental math and he excelled with that. My daughter didn't do so great. So we used it for a couple of years and then we moved on to teaching textbooks. And then we went to Bob Jones and we have been there ever since. Right now, my children have learned math in a variety of different textbooks in different ways, different approaches. And with teaching textbooks, my daughter was just killing it. She was doing awesome. And I thought, oh, this is it. We have found the niche for her. And then we found out about a year later that she was behind a grade level. The work that she was doing in Singapore math and struggling with, teaching textbooks was a little bit of a remedial course for her. Now, was that a bad curriculum? Was that a bad choice for us? Absolutely not. It was just what she needed that year. And I didn't even realize it until way later. I was a little disappointed that she was behind the grade level and we had to catch up and she did and she did fine but she took that year and gained confidence and she matured that year and she did learn math even though it wasn't the best for us long term that was probably the best choice for her for that year so it was fine everybody relax your shoulders it's fine i know this is a big decision to make and the weight of your child's education resting on your shoulders can be heavy, but it doesn't have to be. So my advice is to choose a curriculum that looks interesting, that you think your child will like, that you think your child will learn. If you already know they're an avid reader, then go with a curriculum that has heavy reading, like maybe Sunlight or Bookshark. And if you know that they hate reading, then maybe go a different route. If you know that they learn best, hands-on and worksheets aren't for them and they like to touch and feel things, check out Math You See. It's a great curriculum for math for those hands-on learners. There's lots and lots out there and truly it is overwhelming. There might even be too much out there because we want to try all the things and we're so scared that we're going to make the wrong choice. I promise, promise, promise it's going to be fine. Pick a curriculum that is in your budget. Pick a curriculum that you are excited about and go with it. 
rip the band-aid and do it. Get ready to start a wonderful adventure and a wonderful journey, homeschooling your child, whatever that may look like. It may look like distance learning where your child is learning lectures and videos on the computer and then you're doing a little bit of work with them at the table and working through their worksheets. Maybe it looks like y'all are going outside on hikes and nature walks. Whatever that looks like, have fun. You do you. And my most important tip, don't let the enemy of comparison steal your joy. What another mama is using and working great for her may not work and may not be great for your family. And that's okay. That doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong. That doesn't mean she's doing it wrong. It means that we're just doing it differently and that's oh. Okay. While I encourage you to make a decision and rip that band-aid, don't feel like you have to make a hasty decision. Pray on it for one week if you need to. That's fine. You are on your schedule now. I hope this was encouraging for some of you. If you have any questions about a specific curriculum, feel free to message me below in the comments. Chances are I have used it or I have come across it or I know another family who has used it or is using it. We have a wonderful home school community around us and lots of friends that love to help. Please leave those questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Please give this video a thumbs up for the best curriculum out there. Sorry, it was a tease. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I will see y'all later. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Where was I going with that? What is it called?